Responsibility is mine. So I accept that. You will get it. Now if I gotta pull you to the side and let you have it. Parents, I apologize because ultimately the responsibility is mine to make sure that we get sandwiches. He messed it up I'm trying to make them. He's having trouble. So that's my fault. I gotta find a reliable guy to do the job the right way. So I apologize. But we will get that 12 or 14 guys fed. Okay? First things first, welcome to camp. Get tight in, we ain't tight, we're too loose. Tight in. Welcome to camp. Okay? Welcome to camp. We're happy you're here, son. We just went through the uh, first phase of what we're doing, which was the clinic. This is when it starts to ele elevate to another level. Young man, take your helmet off. Thank you. This is where it starts getting to the next level. Our first uh, way we're doing practices this year is we're doing offensive theme first, which will be run group. Tonight it'll be defensive, and it'll be um, working against run. A little bit different in our first session is we will tackle our first session. Why? Because we're going to run some half line and some right at each other, and we need to make sure our kids know the proper way to tackle. So that'll be the only change up. Our curriculum this year, young man, it's a little different in the fact that it's very much more organized. We're doing it like a high school or collegiate level. We'll be going by pace. When you're asked to go to a, a different group. It ain't about you walking. It's about you hustling. Get to your group. You're asked to do water. Get to your water. You're asked to do it in a single file line. Get there and do what you're asked to do. Okay? This is, this is exactly how we're going to run the camp. So that you can learn that when you go to a real school, a real high school, okay, you have to do it, you're in a program, but that's how they do it, okay? So we need to make sure, number one, that we do that. Number two, as I reiterated earlier to those guys, is yes, what? Yes, yes what? Close. No, what? Close. Oh, y'all ain't doing it right. Yes, what? Close. No, what? Close. Is it yeah? Close. Is it yeah? Close. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's not how we answer here. You are a child. Regardless if you think you're a grown man or not, I still say yes sir and no sir to my dad. Okay, have respect for the people that you are you are working under. Understand to have humility and to come underneath people is a great asset. You learn a lot from being humble. Okay? Nobody here knows it all. I promise you, you're not here because you know it all. You're here because you want to learn. To be able to learn, you gotta be humble. You gotta be able to open your ears up. To be able to absorb the information that you're getting and then go be go apply it through application, which is what we're going to do this week. And we talked about it earlier. There's a seven to ten year old group, eleven to twelve year old group, and thirteen to eighteen year old group. That's how we're splitting it up. That will not change. That's how we'll do attendance. Do it the same way. Today, when you go down, it's the same breakdown. Running back, linebacker. That's how we're going to do attendance. And then you'll go to your offensive positions. Well, after we do attendance and we do stretch, we warm up. Your offensive position. Like I said, we got 9,000 running backs here. Okay? That's fine. I have no problem in training. I want to reiterate to the parents when the Super Bowl is going on, I got 900 running backs. Your baby might not play running back. The Super Bowl is not, has nothing to do with his evaluation, has nothing to do with what he learned during the week. The Super Bowl is for them to have fun. So if you're one of those parents that your baby ran for 3,900 yards and 39 touchdowns and he's the greatest of all time, guess what? Today he may not play running back. He may play linebacker. He may play DB. How do I know that? I deal with it every day. The bottom line is they're here for a fundamental camp. That is for them to have fun. So here's the, th here's the moral of the story for the parents. Let them have fun. Don't come over to me and tell me my baby ain't. If he ain't playing, that's different. If he's not playing running back, now it's going to be a different scenario. Playing time is important. I want every kid to participate and get what they're supposed to get. Okay? But playing specific in the Super Bowl is for them to have fun. 
We'll have music. We'll have stuff going. It's going to be a little bit more amped up this year. So let them play. And not a I want to make sure I say that, and I will repeat that in the closing ceremony. So anybody here that has an issue with that, bring it to my attention now. Now we'll tell you how our policy works. That's not something you want. What we'll do is we'll pull them out of the Super Bowl, and you do what you do. But we're going to make sure that the kids get to play. That's the number one thing we're going to do. Play. Every kid here won't be a running back when they get to my level. I promise you that. Matter of fact. 98% of them won't be running back, so they play linebacker, DB, or somewhere else. So that's usually my problem in position. We got so many of them. So I wanted to make sure that number one, I talked about that. Number two, I want to talk about our policy as far as being on time. Mom and dad, you need to have your child here early. Do not run your child on the field, running on his field with his helmet and his mouthpiece hanging out and his pants down here. Okay? Make sure that you're here on time. We will start on time. You can count on it, okay? <clears throat> no kid is allowed on my football field without being properly dressed. That means his chin strap is snapped. His, his knee pads and thigh pads are on. His belt is tied down. His shoulder pads, there's a reason for that. Because that's how you play football. And that's what we're gonna expect. So make sure that your kids are dressed properly. Make sure your kids have a mouthpiece. If your kid does not have a mouthpiece and you're bringing him from extended day or day camp, he will not be in contact. Let me repeat that, will not be in contact. Whose fault is that, parents? Our. Huh? That'd be our fault, coach. Thank you, because it's going to be your fault. If you bring your child and drop him off without a mouthpiece and he doesn't have money to buy one, I'm not putting myself on the line when his teeth get knocked out. So make sure they have a mouthpiece. Now I'll address this to the kids. Who are the players? Us. Who's responsible to make sure they have a mouthpiece? Us. Last time I checked, mommy ain't putting a helmet on and putting a mouthpiece on. It's your job, your responsibility. Ultimately, you're going to pay the price if you don't have that. It's important that we have that equipment and you're prepared. Number three, make sure your kids drink lots of water and lots of Gatorade. Make sure they are hydrated before they come here. Do not let them drink Coke this week. Don't let them go home and eat all kind of oily, greasy stuff. Make sure they eat properly, okay? Because if they don't, tomorrow, y'all know what's gonna happen, right? They're gonna come out here and run, and I'm gonna have my trash can full. It happens every year, because they eat wrong. Make sure they eat correctly. It's gonna be not too hot, but we're gonna work them, and we're gonna get after them. That's our jobs, okay? Last but not least, have fun this week. I don't care what you do, never sit on the helmet. I don't care what you do, have fun. Guys are going to coach you hard. Guys are going to tell you things you don't want to hear, okay? But you need to hear them. Have fun. This should be one of the greatest experiences that you have in football. Have fun. Don't let mama and daddy and daddy come chew you out because he Things you ain't doing what you need to do is happening. We know how it is, Dad. I've dealt with it. Okay? Have fun. Have fun. Let this be a great experience for you because we want it to be. And then learn to play football. Okay? Wait for a couple of these guys to come in. Feed me! Yo, man, where's your pants at? <laughs> Big man in the back, where's your pants at? You don't have them yet? No, you can't participate until you get them, right? Okay. All right, go ahead. R.J. Lewis is our assistant head coach. I said this earlier. Uh, R.J. is one of the finest uh, guys that I know. Great guy. Uh, played at UCLA, ended up at Hampton. Played in the NFL for the Buffalo Bills. And let me tell you what the great part about him is. He's a great husband. He's a great father. He's an educator. He's a guy that's in his doctorate's program. So what's that say? Football players can be smart, correct? Yeah. So he's the kind of guy that you should emulate. <coughs> Didn't come from the greatest background in the world. Came from, from the South Central, came from a really rough area in L.A. Probably had all the obstacles that some of you guys don't even have and made success out of it. Okay, made success out of it. Okay, so the bottom line is, it doesn't matter what kind of mud you come from, it's how you build your house. Got to build your house the correct way, the solid way. Build it with a great foundation. 
which is based on your character, based on your integrity, based on your work ethic, based on what's important in your life, which should be your family. Okay, your family should be something that's very important. Secondly, base your stuff on your education, not your athletic ability. Don't put everything in one egg in every basket. I'm gonna let RJ speak to you uh, a little bit about himself. Go ahead, RJ. Hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing? Pleasure. Once again, my name is RJ Lewis. I'm tremendously blessed once again to be here. And more than anything, um, I do these camps because you guys have the opportunity to be around not only some great coaches and, and get some good teaching, but you guys get around, you know, some men, some, some fathers, some, some husbands that are doing great, you know, that can teach you a lot in life. Um, I signed up for these camps basically back in the day because they gave myself an opportunity to give back, you know, I'm talking about the life skills facet of football. You know, what I do for Hampton University, all right, I'm the director of player development.